All right, let's just jump into it, shall we? Black, red, zombies. This was a build-around submission for Gem Palm Polluter here. New card from HA3. When you cycle Gem Palm Polluter, you may have target player lose life equal to the number of zombies on the battlefield. Notably, this is both players' zombies. So this card is extra good against Field of the Dead, which is super funny. Um, now, what have I done here? So traditionally speaking, creature aggro tends to be most powerful in my experience when you have these kind of, we call them Lord effects that make all of your creatures larger. So I was looking for a tool that would give me an additional like Death Baron style effect here that would make all of our zombies bigger. So as you can see here, the thing I decided on doing was I landed on Splashing Red for Judith since Judith casts off Ancient Ziggurat and we have these duels. And then we also gain Dreadhorde Butcher as another red zombie. So Judith, in addition to Death Baron, kind of serve as our curve toppers here where we've got a bunch of one and two mana zombies that we're looking to get down and attack with. And then Death Baron and Judith uh, give us a way to make the whole squad a little bit little bit stronger we've got murderous rider here as well as a zombie and a scotch of interaction in the main deck and then the main deck just happens to be uh collector friendly i wanted all creatures anyway so we're playing ancient ziggurat so i've got one of our sideboard slots dedicated to this you will note that i've got red cat melee and graph digger's cage in my sideboard so the expectation is that i will board out of my companion when these cards are worth <coughs> are worth bringing in <coughs> uh, mostly other creatures inside before the rest of the murderous riders for Ostodon's great and then uh croxa here as an extra card for the the matchups that are going to be extra removal heavy uh before we dive into matches i just like to plug the raid show one more time uh, that's not true. It's not. There's gonna be more than one more time for today. Today and a little bit tomorrow. We're at 178 out of 180. And if there's any non-subs out there, I want to try something different for shilling the sponsor. If you are a non-sub who takes the time to complete the raid tutorial and you DM me DM me proof that you're the person that did it, I'll gift you a sub to the channel. So if you're if you're someone that hasn't done it and you're not someone who's in in chat to not in chat right now because you're not currently subbed. If you if you play download raid using my link and play through the tutorial so it bumps my counter, I'll gift you a sub to the channel so you can be a more active member of Oglandia. Because after after we hit that 180, there's extra stretch goals for 215 and 250. So I'll I'll gift out subs to non-subs that do that up to the 250 threshold. And thanks to everybody that uh, that's done that so far. Do I pay the normal price for gifted subs as a channel owner? K kinda. So like, it technically costs me four ninety nine to gift a sub, but I get three fifty of that back later. So like, I I get three fifty per sub, so it basically costs me like a dollar fifty to gift a sub. Cardboard Life is back. They had an update this morning. They updated really quickly. Crypt Breaker into Lazotep Reaper. Reaver is really good. Crypt Breaker here for those not familiar. Tap three untapped zombies you control to draw a card. So playing this on two means I get to start drawing a card right away, which is great. Sub laundering. I've seen other other people do gifting subs to their own channel as an incentive before, so. Ooh. Oh my god, I just clicked through their turn. I was looking I was looking at uh, something in chat and I missed drawing a card. Well, poop. Okay, well we're just gonna skip drawing the card and start attacking them then. It is worth noting that these, even though they're a two power one drop, are not synergistic with Crypt Breaker, which is awkward. Yes, bordered cards look real bad now. If I attack like this, I can make a zombie and polluter them, I think is the plan. And then we have them dead next turn.
I think they're dead from 15, right? What are my thoughts on Teamer Sarkin? There was never a Teamer Sarkin deck on... There was never a Teamer Sarkin deck on the historic page of my website. And I'm not maintaining standard decks on my website anymore. There's a, there's a note up there about that. Alright, the old two mana six ball you. You love, you love to see it, chat. The old two mana six ball you. Pretty sure this is a rampaging for us to not match up. Sounds good, sounds good. All right, we're gonna remember to draw a card on two this time. We're gonna we're gonna remember to draw a card on two this time. <clears throat> In fact, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna draw the card right away. Hey, thanks for the quarter of a year, T Hunter. I appreciate that. I'm here for the historic content too. I'm gonna be playing a lot of historic on this channel moving forward. I'm playing the game did my opponent disconnect or be right now. Yep, that's always a fun one. <clears throat> Is Gary playable in this shell? Instead of me telling you you're wrong and he's not playable, tell me why he's playable. Tell me what problem you think my aggro deck solves by adding a 5 drop to it. And then, and then tell me what you'd cut to fit that five drop in. The raid tracker is working, yep. Yep, had a few, it looks like three or four people just uh, just downloaded it. It doesn't pop up on the ticker. You don't count as one thing sort of my campaign until you finish the, um, so you finish the tutorial. So the pop up, pop up in the counting doesn't happen until you finish the tutorial. All right, would I rather get this going, get this down? I think I'd like to, if I get this down, I hit them for six. They're not, oh, they might be escaping Uro next turn, actually. Yeah, okay, let's do, let's just do this then. Yeah, yeah, because this is going up to six in their bin now. Turn through a lot of cards really quickly there. We could just not get another turn. We could definitely just not get another turn here. I think I'm going to give up two points of damage here to draw a card. So I think there's a chance they fog us this turn. Which may, may or may not be right. very good against Rampaging Frostodon, is it? That's unfortunate. Just got punished for uh, drawing in response there. Should just let their thing resolve. Okay, so they're gonna untap. They're gonna make another friend here. Oh, we're probably just dead. Got it. Yeah, I assume, I assume we're dead here because they're gonna get to escape Uro this turn.
Well, my understanding is to Haladen is that HA3 cards are not legal on Melee yet. A couple people were talking about in the subs discord this morning. If you if you look at the support section on Melee, there they do have a Discord channel there. There's also a Melee rep Rhythmic in the subs discord as well. Or are they not escaping? I guess they're just going to make a bunch of Biogenic Goose things. A little bit too slow here on the draw. You can't use H. That is not what I said. God, Twitch chat is so stupid. God, y'all. I need I need to let up on that. I've been my fuse has been short with people saying dumb stuff in chat lately. I apologize. Um. What I said was melee is currently bugged and not not counting HA3 cards as being legal. It is it is a bug and it will be fixed. So as as we said, you will be able to you will be able to use HA3 cards in the event tomorrow. They will they will be legal. All right, let me let me tag let me tag the melee rep. <sighs> I think we're dead here, right? Like I can make attacks, but it just doesn't matter. They're gonna make a bunch of things. Maybe I should have maybe I should have played Frosted on there. Probably doesn't matter. I don't think it. Hey, Society. Thanks for checking out the raid sponsor and completing the tutorial. I appreciate that. A lot of a lot of the melee folks are US based too, so it's early here. So there's a good chance that they're not they're not awake, they're not conscious yet. Is there a bug with Luris's legality on Scryfall? No, Scryfall says it's historically legal. Beard. Wonder if Melee's having issues with their uh, with their set rebuild. Mulligan that first hand because it just doesn't really accomplish anything. Bottom of land here. Seems like not amazing, but it's in the range of keepable, I think. If we don't draw another spell, we'll cycle the gem palm polluter on on three and see where we go. Hey, sweet tea baggins. Thanks for completing the tutorial. I appreciate that. That hit our first stretch goal. Goal reached. Yep. That was a slick little animation there too. The Twitch integrations for their their campaign are real slick. This was a ideal draw. This Death Baron or Judith here were definitely our two best draws. So they're down to 11. Hopefully it's like play Uro and then they die next turn. Obnatius the third. Thanks for the 10 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. No, I don't think I don't think that card's worth the inclusion. I want, I want to be able to curve out and cast my spells. I think if I were to add Black Castle, I would like to, um, if, if I were to add Black, and they're dead, they're dead to jump on me, right? Yeah, sick. Um, if I were to add Black Castle to my deck, it would be, uh, at, over a spell, and I don't know that I want to cut new spells for another land. Good clean, good clean aggressive beat down there. Penumbra, thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Hey, nice. Yeah, Brad's great. Ah, this stupid bot match bug is really annoying. Yeah, that was that was turn four. Yeah, good game, Scrapple. Good luck with our steel laddering today. 
And that was really, really kind of showed some of the strength of Gem Palm in a deck like this, right? The Fred, thanks for the 19 months, I appreciate that. Welcome back. Getting to uh, act basically as another Lord. Yeah, yeah, Gem Palm, Gem Palm was real, real good there. Do I mulligan this otherwise reasonable hand looking for a one drop? I don't think so. But I could I could see it being correct to mulligan this. We do we do get to go two we do get to go two, three, four, which is nice. Reaver into Judith attacks for four on turn three, which is decent. Orphan Guard, probably a control deck. Yeah, I'd probably just guy. He says his opponent plays a Just Guy Trium. This is this companion's a free roll and creatureless control deck, so you see a lot of people doing that. So, one of the things that's interesting about goblins is that for people that don't know their history. The successful Goblins decks in Legacy weren't actually aggro decks for people for people that don't remember their history and want to be doomed to repeat it. When Goblins was competitive in other non-rotating formats, Goblins was competitive as a kind of grindy mid-range deck because things like Ringleader and Goblin Matron to find Ringleader and utility things lets you grind. Hey, Arno. Thanks for the 22 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. No, there was, there was a competitive Legacy, Legacy Goblin deck without claim for a little while. Probably dead here at this point. We lost the die roll, then they had Tefri into a sweeper. Tefri, Tefri into sweeper is just so good against these aggro decks. It buys you the tempo you need for your sweeper to be good enough as your first play. This is just a 4-3. I think I'm going to cycle this. Six stars. Six stars take a while. Yeah, 8-whack eight, eight wasn't really a goblin stick either. 8-whack was like a bushwhacker. Bushwhacker aggro deck. It didn't really play Goblin Synergies. If that, if that makes sense. How's Zombies going? Uh, we ran down Nexus in the first match. Had a good clean turn four kill in game three. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to be competitive here. Yeah. This one's over. I'm going to swap Murderous Rider for some Croxas and call it a day. See if we can run them down on the play. Maybe I'm supposed to just bring in Frostodon expecting... Um, yeah, I'm supposed to just bring in Frostodon expecting uh, timely reinforcements probably. It's probably not unreasonable. Hey, thanks to whoever just completed their to raid tutorial, someone, whoever you are out there. I appreciate you checking out the sponsor. By the way, for anybody that wasn't here at the very start of the stream to hear me plug plug my new my new driver. If you are a non-sub currently watching the channel, 
and you check out read through my link and play through the tutorial, I will gift you a sub to my channel once your once your name pops up there in the corner. So for someone that's not currently subbed and you'd like a free way to get subbed, feel free to uh, check out my read sponsor. What's contributors? Contributors are it it also counts the number of people who have spent money on raid that have downloaded it through the link. So it's timely reinforcements and auto include inside board for wake trucks. Yes. Yeah, I think and I think you could even make the argument that it should be a main board inclusion. Like the Just Guy Turn the Just Guy Turns deck we're gonna get to later today uh, is definitely playing um, definitely playing timelies in the main. Yep. Timely, timely here is going to be like fog for two turns. It's going to be like fog for two turns plus time walk. Like, it's, it's really pretty unreal. It's roundabouts cheaper. So it still cost me $5 up front, but I get $3.50 of it back. And it's also technically a tax write-off at the end of it. I don't, I don't lose money, lose money in that, in that, in that way. All right, we'll see if we, uh, see if we can drag ourselves kicking and screaming across the finish line here. We get to Crypt Breaker and we get to play two of these out here. They are at nine. I'm going to have five power after they swept the board. I'm going to get to draw another card here. I feel, I feel like if we don't beat Timely in a game like this, we're just never beating it. All right, this was uh, this is probably our best draw there, right? And this is this is situations like this are exactly why I've got a couple of Croxes on the sideboard. So when they've swept us a bunch, and maybe, maybe we can play through these sweepers and stuff. We just want, like, a grip full of Croxes. I can see that, too. Hey, thanks, Philip Seymour, for checking out the raid sponsor. I appreciate the support. And remember, if you try raid and like it, too, you should pop in the subs discord. We've got a very active channel of all of us in there. God bless America. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of the icing. And I think I'm far enough behind at this point that I need to use this to draw a card. I don't just want to play it as a 1-1 here. This card is such an offensive stain. We're dead. Yeah, I think there's the the blue white decks are definitely the blue white decks are definitely the gatekeeper of the tier two aggro decks in this format. So like they are they are the thing that these tier two aggro decks live and die against. Like there's a if if decks like this zombies deck aren't competitive, it will likely be because they cannot keep up with timely reinforcements and shatter and
That seems very reasonable. I think we're going to go ahead and bottom the Fallmire Knight here. A new match, right? That was a game. That was a game one, Gus. Thanks for the half a year, Boom Child. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Hey, thanks. Thanks, uh, Peter. ZXVBLM for checking out the raid sponsor. I appreciate it. Maybe I'm supposed to play Death Baron here so I don't get tagged by another I don't get tagged by another Aether Ghost. He Gus does hit most of the companions, yep. Yeah. Yes, it did, Haskow. Thanks for doing that. Good too, Huck Huck. Thanks. Maybe I'm supposed to hold back two power here so I could draw a card. Sounds good, dirty. And for the folks that are that are DMing me that are non subs that did the right thing, I will uh, I'm gonna dole out all the sub gifts this evening. And again, just can't win at this point, right? They just like gain two more life, they shoot a thing here. I'm just like, just unwinnable. Just just unwinnable. It's not it's not looking good. Not looking good for our hero, chat. Two bows, six to fifty seven months. And that's you know, just just like every other format. Standard, modern, pioneer. Um, when when you're working on new ideas, a lot of these new decks that we try are just not going to be. They're just not going to be competitive. You know, there's a certain litmus test you have to you have to pass to be competitive in the format. You got to keep up with the things that are already there and known to be good. And if you can't do that, your deck's just not going to be playable. Oh. Tefri really changed magic for the worse.
I think scape shift combo plus gem palm polluter is too cute. You mean like make zombies and then gem palm them? Why do you need to gem palm them after you make a bunch of zombies? If you have enough zombies that gem palm is lethal in your field of the dead deck, you should just attack them. I agree with the conclusion that magic is markedly worse after War of the Spark. Thank you for the very generous tier 3 mono blue burn. Put my tier 3 towards your favorite historic do the thing meme. I definitely can. I think that'll probably be uh, Jun Storm Chaser. That was real. That was a real treat. Can I define my opinion of good? In my opinion, Magic's formats are at their best when small edges aggro decks are some of the best decks in the format. So think back to GRN and RNA standard when red aggro and white weenie aggro were competitive tiered decks. When the closest thing they had to a combo in their aggro decks was the inclusion of was the inclusion of um what's it called was the inclusion of uh the frenzy frenzy this card yeah not that that one Yeah, for people that didn't play during that format, there was a Just Guy control deck that was viable. There were a huge selection of mid-range decks that were viable. Big Monster, thanks for checking out the Raid Sponsor and playing through the tutorial. I appreciate it. And remember, if you're a sub who plays through the Raid tutorial, you can bump a deck in the queue. If you're a non-sub who plays through the Raid tutorial, I'll gift you a sub to the channel tonight when I'm done. Just drop me a message that you finished it and what name you finished it with. Uh, they're dead, right? We have Double Gem Pump Leader here. So, opponent didn't have a sweeper, and we won. Weird. I have two, two other black sources right here. And, and honestly... I'm not doing that retroactively all your life. I am. I have a, I have a log for everybody... Everybody that did the raid thing. So if you did if you did the raid thing during this campaign, just drop me a message on Discord if you're a sub and uh, let me know what you'd like to bump up and I can run back and check it. And honestly, one of the reasons why I talk about those small edges aggro decks and why I think they're the best thing in good magic formats, that's because small edges aggro... And this is uh, goes back to understanding how formats develop. In formats where small edges aggro decks are competitive mid-range is almost always also competitive because mid-range decks tend to be reasonable against small edges aggro decks. One of the big imbalances with the current standard format, and actually this was an issue with standard last season too, was that the standard format that we had, aggro was basically just combo. The only aggro decks that were competitive were the Ember Cleave aggro decks. And when you were cleaving, you were good against mid-range. So, like, when the aggro decks cleave through mid-range, I don't think the format is good or healthy. One card ban, every format, no Tefri because he needs a ban, what would you choose? I, I don't really have an answer to that. I think Tefri is like the only card on that list. And this is, honestly, this card is a fantastic example of why Small Edges aggro isn't, isn't playable under modern magic design 
is because they just staple gain two, three, four, however much life onto just literally every playable control and mid-range card. Like, like, look, Ur Uro, Omen of the Sun. Why on God's green earth do these cards have gain life stapled to them? What did, what did their format, what did their testing format look like that they felt that's what needed to happen? Yeah, they brought back Absorb too. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah, Omen, Omen is not that dissimilar to Timely. It's obviously a slightly smaller scale, but you also always get it in its instant speed. There's no zero, zero hoops to jump through. Hey, thanks, Toll, for checking out the raid sponsor. I appreciate that. Like I said, if you're a non-sub, drop me a message on Twitch or Twitter. With what your what your name is. And proof that that's you. And I'll uh, I'll gift you a sub tonight when I'm done. I'm not going to gift the subs midstream because I don't want to pause and gift individual subs and validate things. But tonight, tonight I'll gift a bunch of them. I appreciate the folks taking the time to do that. If, yeah, if they thought an Ajani's Pride Mate deck was competitive in, if they thought an Ajani's Pride Mate deck was competitive in a world where Tefri Time Raveler and Brazen Bar War exists, I don't, I don't even know what to say to their, their testing people. You, you can't, mommy, mommy make out summer. Oh, Twitch usernames. Um, the, re the reason, one of the reasons why Tefri is so offensive is there's no, counter to Tefri because Tefri generates value to, you can't counter Tefri because even when you have an ideal setup even when you, everything's going exactly how you want it to go for you they still just draw a card best best case scenario is Tefri or worst case scenario is Tefri gains you life and draws you a card Uh, Boom Child, make sure you are trying to join the Discord server using a desktop computer. You cannot join using the mobile app. Yep, generates value and tempo. Exactly, exactly correct. We might get to cycle, we might get to use Gem Palm against the Field of the Dead player here, so that could be fun. Well, that's the second one. I'd say I'd really like to draw a zombie that I could start drawing cards with here, but we'll take more gem palms at the moment. Did you just resub Boomchild? I'll I'll run a manual refresh for Hoglandia here. If you just resub to the channel, sometimes it doesn't uh it takes a second. It was last synced about an hour ago. All right, I've manually refreshed. Try it now. Are they dead? Four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight zombies. I'm gonna shock. I'm gonna shock this in and pass. Sorry. Right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if they if they make zombies next turn, they're dead to double jump bomb. Yeah, this is, this is, so, magic used to be very symmetrical. Yeah, so, it wasn't until we got corporate slivers during, it wasn't until we had corporate slivers. All right, and this is 10 zombies, right? This is six plus by four.
The, the corporate slivers started... Started not wanting to work with other people. The old 20 ball, you. Listen, I don't know if this deck is good, but I'm really glad that that happened there. I don't... I think there's a strong chance our deck isn't actually very good. But I'm glad that we all got to experience that. Hey, Adele Plays. Thanks for checking out the raid sponsor and completing the tutorial. Toll as well. I appreciate that, folks. Be sure to drop me a message. Let me know if you'd like a gifted sub to the channel or to bump something in the queue. And again, for non-subs, I'm going to gift subs to people that complete the, the raid tutorial up through the 250 on that counter. So, there's a 215 goal and then a 250 goal as well. I think we keep this and hope to draw a land. It's got double frost on and it's got a gem palm in it. We're on the we're on the draw here. And Lazo Lazo Tap Reaver into a Lord's actually pretty good because it attacks for four on turn three. Hey Rubrack, thanks for checking out the sponsor. I appreciate it. Well, I should have been more specific with my request, chat. That is technically a land, but uh, it doesn't let me play a three drop on three. Ziggurat, slightly awkward with our buddy lands, but definitely still worth playing both, so we have appropriate amounts of fixing. Not famous, thanks for the two-thirds of a year, welcome back. Could Duras be better in the sideboard to help with the control matchups? Yeah, maybe. I think, that, I think that's definitely something worth trying. Maybe, maybe we adjust the sideboard after this. Could could see that. Give up, give up the collector and get some discard spells. The rest is very resource efficient and tags the cards that we care about. It can't, it can't make it worse, possibly, right? So probably worth testing. That's rough. All right, that was a, that was a well placed dreadhorde butcher chat. For those of you taking notes at home, skillfully left the second Butcher on top of our deck so it didn't get ended with the rest of the Legion. Brutal, thanks for checking out the raid sponsor. I appreciate it. Addressing deck building issues between matches? Yeah. Uh, the Legion animation isn't strictly new, but it's like new-ish. So they only have four differently named lands at the moment. So I think I'm going to Death Baron to start here. Although they're probably jump blocking, so maybe I'm supposed to just Rampaging for Asadon. Would Unclaimed Territory be better than Ziggurat in this deck? No, I don't think so. And again, Zach, you're not new here. Like, please, please make an effort with your card suggestions. Don't... The way you just made that question, I really hate questions like that. Because the easy answer is, no, I think it's worse, that's why I'm not playing it. So like, if I thought Unclaimed Territory was better, I'd play Unclaimed Territory. So here's, here's, so that's the thing though, Zach. Like, if you don't, if you can't think of a reason that it's better, why do you want me to tell you why? Like, if you can't think of a reason why it's better, why why even bring it up? What, you're just, like, asking me to, like, validate you and, like, tell you what you already know? Like, why, why is that helpful or constructive or useful? It's just me messages like that are clutter, in my opinion. So there's six, seven, eight. <sighs> this is nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ziggurat does not pay for cycling, correct? I 
I don't know what I want to do this turn. Do I like do this plus this? I think I think I do that. I think it's just like Frostodon plus this. I should have I should have done the other way because I took an extra damage here, obviously. I obviously took an extra damage there I didn't have to take. Anyways, it's, they're just, those types of questions are always so weird to me as a streamer, and other people always tolerate them. It's like, why do you want me to reinforce the thing that you just said already? Like, if you know, or if you can't think of a reason why it's good, why do you want me to tell you why it's bad? Like, what's the, what's the, like, what's the, what's the logic there? Does the Butcher's Death Trigger have Death Touch? It should, yes. Yes, this, this counts my opponent's zombies. If you missed the first game here, we won the first game by dealing 20 to them with two gem palms. It was chef's kiss. They know about this polluter, so they're dead. And again, like, for I just timed someone out because they're like, well, they're just trying to improve their deck building. You know what would improve their deck building? Thinking about the question that they want to ask. That, that would improve their deck building. Thinking, thinking critically about what's going on. Yeah, Gem Palm's not a spell. The Cycler doesn't, the, the Drake doesn't do anything. Hey, reasonable tiger! Thanks for the thanks for checking out the raid sponsor. I appreciate that. And let's put some let's put some duresses in the board. Actually, would I rather have duress or drill bit? I think I'd rather have duress. Having having more one mana plays seems really good. All right, chat, I, I need some tech support because this operating system blows. What is going on with my computer here? There's like a little arrow here by my taskbar. And there's like a little box that's appearing when I like click on it. Do you, do you see this thing? There's like a little, it's kind of hard to see with my desktop background. But like I can't click into my, my MTGA window anywhere right here. Any Anyone have any idea what could possibly... What could possibly be call causing this? So here, I'll move this up. You see how there's this little there's this little arrow here. You see this little arrow, and I'm like, when I when I click around it, this like box things comes up on occasion, and like it's like intercepting. I don't. There's no box up right now. But it's like intercepting click inputs. Like I can't I can't click I can't click into here to type. Yeah, it's some kind of overlay. And I have no idea what it's from. We tried to, I mean, restarting the computer would probably do it. I guess for to, for now, we'll just deal with it. This operating system is such a pile of garbage. Just no control over anything. Uh, Alt-Tab does not list it in any running applications. Not listed in any running applications there. I guess we'll, guess we'll just ignore it for now. All right, so we want to put four duress in here. I'm going to cut these croxas. I'm going to cut a cage. I'm going to cut a murderous rider. I'm going to cut a rampaging frosted on. Open file browser. Open Task Manager, Restart Windows Explorer. So just kill Windows Explorer. Is this gonna kill? Is this gonna kill my thing? I'm gonna be real upset if this uh, this kills my, my what's it called? Whoa! Look at that. I'm glad I asked for tech support. That did it. That did it. Look at that. Look at that. The fact that you had to open up a file manager for that to happen is funny. It's funny.
So far, the Zombies deck's been sweet against everything that's not Just Guy Control. There might, there might be a good chance that Just Guy Combo Control is going to be Tier 0 in this format to start. Nah, probably not, JMP. I actually think Planeswalkers are really sweet. I like, I like Planeswalkers in general. I'm not an old man yelling at clouds who hates change. I can, I can separate, I can separate all Planeswalkers are bad and Tefri's a bad design because I'm not a, a lazy idiot. I'm, I'm capable of differentiating those details. There's a, there's a lot of people that can't, that, there's a lot of people that give magic opinions lately that can't seem to be able to differentiate that. They can't differentiate between Yorian and Luris are too good and all companions are, are, are bad. And they can't differentiate between Planeswalkers are bad and Tefri and Oko are bad. Like that, that nuance is just lost on them. We have a very good curve here. Again, our eight Lord effects that give all of our creatures one extra attack. Very good after after Lazo Tep Reaver here. And if they sweep here, we get to deal three more to them, so that's decent. When it was ever doing something odd at the OS level, that trick will usually flush it out and fix it. The classic is the auto hide taskbar isn't appearing over certain windows. Okay, that's good to know. Silence. Windows. Windows. Ex the Explorer is basically Windows Window Manager, right? It what handles handles all those different things like window decorations and stuff. All right, control deck. Let's uh, let's try these copies of duress, huh? Is this too many threes? This might be too many threes. I don't know. We went up on ones though, so it's probably fine. Do you side the companion in? No, no, the the companion's not good enough to actually play. It's just a free roll in the main deck, so we give it a sideboard slot. Hey, Inverse, or Binkwater, thanks for completing the tutorial. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Be sure to drop me a message. Let me know if you'd like a gifted sub or to bump something in the queue. Gifted subs and queue stuff I'll take care of tonight after I'm done streaming. I appreciate the support, folks. Fantasy End, thanks for the 17 months. Welcome back. Good morning. Hope you're staying safe out there in that crazy world. Seems pretty good too. Again, decks like what we're playing here, being able to curve out is very important. Well, Tefri Plus isn't a big deal here because we get to do this and then these are five and we get to kill him. Where do you submit decklist for the open? I looked in Discord and at Melee, but I can't find anything. When I play Umari deck, Arena won't let me sideboard. Is that a known feature or a new feature? It's an existing feature that they somehow failed to fix. Is is the companion bug every time? I thought it was just some of the time you didn't get to sideboard. Does anybody know what triggers it? Or is it just if you have... Because I haven't hit it. Like, we're playing with the companion and I've been able to sideboard every time I've had a companion. If you disconnect, you can't sideboard. Okay, so that's a bug. So if you get disconnected, you can't sideboard. 
is the bug. As far as decklist submission, there is a player controller on MTG Melee where, you're sub where you will submit decklist through. I don't believe HA3 cards are currently legal there yet. That'll, that'll be remedied later today. Uh, if I sack this, they take six, and then the rest of these are lethal. They're dead. They're dead no matter how I slice this, right? Hey, thanks for the 25 months, girl, Tarpan. I appreciate it. Welcome back. All right. Well, didn't get to see our duresses there, but the games, the control decks don't have their sweepers. We run them down. If melee, if melee does not get their stuff sorted by this afternoon for deck list, we'll end up being more lax on the deck list submission deadline tomorrow, like we have been. Hopefully, hopefully they have it sorted by this afternoon, though. Well, aside from the soul sucking games against Just Kite Control, this has been a very good set. Zombies go brrrr. <laughs> hey, King Razi. Thanks for completing the raid tutorial. I appreciate you checking out the sponsor. Drop me a message. Let me know if you'd like a gifted sub or to bump something in the queue. The submission deadline is two hours before the event tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Central. That is, this was the best draw on our deck. Not close. I I agree, Cummy Pizza. I want more gem palm polluters and more mazes ends and less timely reinforcements. I think there's a good chance timely reinforcements was a very bad addition to historic. In this situation, which lord is a priority to play out? We're going to wait and see. It's going to depend on what else they do. Why? Because timely reinforcements slots into a bunch of decks that are already very good and probably didn't need the help. Hmm. I think I'm blocking here. Because blocking here means they don't get a counter on this. Rogue! Thanks for the 47 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Chasov. Thanks for completing the tutorial and checking out the raid sponsor. I appreciate it. You think Grawl may have been too strong? I disagree with that. I think Grawl was an appropriate power level. I think I want to prioritize Death Baron here because it provides Death Touch to my friendos. If we get to go second Lord plus a one drop next turn, we can hopefully stabilize here a little bit. The hope is that We'll be able to apply enough pressure with our squad that they can't afford to keep this around forever, which would be nice. Yeah, also, also my lukewarm take is that Grull being the best deck in Historic is really good for Historic. Just have to trade these. Yeah, I agree with that. I think ideally combo and control should never be the best decks in any given format. I think it's great when those archetypes are playable. But I think when they are the best thing you can be doing, it creates an incredibly toxic environment.
feel like we're going to end up being a little bit too slow here on the draw. Super dead. <sighs> so, does the damage to us for each vampire? I think vampires is very good, by the way. Vampires is one of the many decks you can find up on my website for the historic format. I think it is quite excellent. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut to Dreadhorde Butchers here and put into Murderous Riders. Although Dreadhorde Butchers trigger gains Death Touch with Baron. Maybe I cut Gem Palm Polluter in this matchup, actually. feel like this is a fact I don't want to see a lot of early. Let's try, let's try this. Our deck, our deck does have a lot of force. Our only, our only non-four of the main deck is two Murderous Riders because we're playing 22 lands. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be trading in combat early and often, I think. So, makes Gem Bump Looter a little bit less good. I, I agree, James. In fact, so something I talked about um, that I should mention a couple more times is I had mentioned when I increased the price of Arena Decks to $25, they would eventually come back down. I don't think that's my plan anymore. So just as a heads up, full transparency, my plan for the foreseeable future is that deck submissions for Arena are going to stay at the $25 mark. And while that will bring in fewer submissions, that's kind of my goal. I would like to get to the point where the deck queue's not backed up with submissions and I can also add decks somewhat consistently. So that way, things on my website like vampires and like merfolk and stuff like that for example that we played once or twice but don't have a ton of matches with i can add back in to get more matches on the website i, I think ideally i'd like to get to a point where every deck every deck on the website has matches played in the last month i think would be a great ideal yeah i'm gonna leave build arounds at 25 so build arounds will just be the same price as normal submissions i like i really like doing build arounds so I think I think I'm gonna leave them the same. We should change the casting cost of my frame. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, and also what someone else said, what Chevry said there, having fewer decks waiting to be played will let me pivot off of formats that are bad faster, as opposed to having a giant standard backup. Hey, Steamy Shimishi, thanks for completing the raid tutorial, I appreciate that. Drop me a message and let me know if you'd like to bump something in the queue or if you'd like a sub gifted to you on the channel. Do I prefer build arounds to regular search? Honestly, I like both. Having, having a mix is good. Build-arounds are extra work for me. So I, I pro if I had constant build-arounds, I probably wouldn't have time. I would have to or have to increase their price a little bit over normal submissions. But having a mix of the two is great. Some of, some of the best submissions that we've had on this channel have been a mix of the two. Some have been, like, viewer submitted to start, and some have been build-around ideas. Don't really want to chump block here. Wow, their hand must be really bad. If Historic turns into Jeskai Luka 2, what do we play? So, Historic has a deep enough card pool that I think even if Luka ends up having a really high win rate in this format too and we have to wait for them to address it, I don't think it'll be every every other match. Even, even, well, even honestly, even in standard the Luka decks, not every other match. And with the ladder back, with Historic averaging a lot of a lot of variety. Um, oh, I forgot I could play the Rider. Yeah, I just autopiloted and saw I had five lands and assumed I couldn't play this. Thanks for, thanks for pointing that out. Amari the Collector is making this cheaper. Um, my... Uh, uh, honestly, if the Jeskai decks seem like they're tier zero, we could just concede to those on the ladder. It's just, it's just the actual answer. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not convinced that they're going to be tier zero. I think we need more information for that. 
more 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 repetitions interested to see what happens with the open this weekend among other things yeah the ladder the ladder is a huge quality of life upgrade could not could not agree more what's the jeskai deck there's a couple different jeskai decks so jeskai luka the basically standard deck verbatim is very good in historic and then there's also a Jeskai, a Jeskai Control Taking Turns deck that we're actually going to play later today. So we played a variation of Jeskai Luka yesterday in Historic, and we're going to play Jeskai Taking Turns today. We'll yeah, yeah, and I think I think there's good decks like the Naya Winota and other things that are likely still going to be plenty competitive in the format. Hey, Raisuko, thanks for completing the raid tutorial. I appreciate that. Drop me a message. Let me know if you'd like a gifted sub or to bump something in the queue. I think both of them are very good, JMK. Hey, thanks for the 24 months, sad control player. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Hey, right, four lethal threats. Go. All right, now the hard game. We have to try and win one on the draw. I don't think I have any sideboard changes here. Doom bleeding sore. And the murderous rider was an exile G goat, so I, he had already he had already killed something. If Jeffrey died, would all those decks still be playable? Yes. That's that's why Tefri would be such a good shift delete from the format, in my opinion. Is all of the decks that play Tefri would continue would continue to play, would continue to be played and be playable without that stain of a card being included. Morning Bandit. I'm going to say no blocks here. Because I would like to get Judith down before I block. Because with Judith down... Um, with Judith down, this will trade for both of these. Well, they might have a removal spell here. Would Wilderness Reclamation be too strong without Jeffrey? Quite possibly. I don't I don't think it would be unreasonable to safety ban Wilderness Reclamation when you ban Tefri. I, uh, I do not expect Maze's End to feel competitive. Just full, full disclosure transparency. Hey, Value Play, thanks for continuing your sub gift. Welcome back. Are there bans planned for next week? There are not. Wizards, Wizards think Standard is currently fine. We're going to play Maze's End today. Matt was playing a bunch of it because he likes the card. It was my pick for sweetest meme addition to the format, but I don't expect it to be competitive. No. All right, so let's kill this, and then we'll play this so we can start attacking here. I think I think Maze's End and Gem Palm Polluter, these are fantastic examples of great cards to get added to Historic.
More, more gem palms, more mazes ends, less timely reinforcements, please. Do I even want to block here? I feel like the answer is no. I want to build up some zombies, boys and girls for my polluters. Pressuring their life total is big here. How close are they to ascend? Uh, not, not, not very. They have five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, close-ish. I don't get the whole gem palm thing. What's up with the gems in your hand? Sounds impractical, right? You had to turn three Ulamog? Sweet. Did you see the list in the queue, by the way? I ended up, we're going to be playing that. Playing that third today. I think I see no blocks here. So they're at a virtual nine. Attack for 10. So they're dead. You love, you love to see it chat. Oops, oops, kill you. And that. Playing, playing around that card is gonna take a little bit. It's gonna, it's gonna take people a little bit. All right, let's hop into one more with zombies here. The non, the non just guy matches have been great. Non, non just guy matches have been good. We've not played against Grawl yet with this, no. It's a good pickup. Crypt Breaker on one into Reaver on two, draw a card is quite excellent. I mean, it's like better than Fireball in a lot of ways, right? Hey, Cam Bony Machine, thanks for the 16 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. It, it is coming, Pizza. At the end of when I queue back up into the play, the play queue. That's real gross. Well, we got to draw a card at least. Yeah, it's a can tripping fireball where the X isn't mana. What's the best summer dessert? Why you gotta why you gotta classify desserts by season? Why you gotta why you gotta classify desserts by season? Good good desserts are good all year round. Scary. Where are you getting fresh berries at in the winter, my dude? Do your grocery stores not have berries year-round? I 
They're not always as good in the winter, but they exist year-round. They exist year-round here. A inverse. Thanks for checking out the Rage Monster Complete Tutorial. Drop me a message and let me know if you'd like to uh, have a sub gifted or to bump something in the queue. See how many pumpkin pie in the summer? I eat pumpkin pie all the time. All right, so do we go for the resource efficient play or do we go do we go for the Lord to attack? Kind of feel like I just go Lord attack you with uh, Dreadhorde Butcher. That gives first strike. Yep, that's scary. Yep. But they have trample. Refrigerated pumpkin pie, room temp, or all of the above. I'm like not picky. Like I'll eat your room temperature pumpkin pie, but when I have pie, I keep it in the fridge. Yeah, if they have crash through for trample, we could just die here. Cheetos, I missed a donation. Sorry about that. My new kitten is super cute. Let's pump up some kittens in Soul Sisters, a slight version. Sounds good. Sorry, sorry for missing that. I appreciate the support. All right. Well, they never found Trample, so... I guess we're blocking here, and then this is free. I think I need to keep attacking with these. I'm going to keep this back as an emergency blocker just in case. We do get two blockers from this, though, which is nice. They are going to be able to give their things first strike again. Mostly looking to dodge Trample still and second Kiln Fiend. Could be dead here. Yeah, strong chance we're dead. Alright, those are kind of mediocre hits. So they get to maximize velocity, make this a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, we're dead, actually. So they actually get to maximize velocity, make this a 6-6. Six, six. And then Dreadhorde Arcanus flashes back a shock to put us to 7. It makes Doran a 7-7. Seven, seven. So they have they have the cards to lethal us here. Oh, did they miss it? They missed lethal. Right? They could have they could have jump started this. They could have jump started this and attack with this and flashback shock, right? Yeah, they missed lethal. And now, now they're dead, right? Because they take, they take at least four here. No matter how they block, they have three blockers. And I have this. A little bit, little bit of justice there. Deck, yeah, decks like what the opponents playing tend to be a lot of fun to play because they have a lot of lines like we just talked through, but it's also very easy to miss lines because of that. This is probably a matchup where Red Cat Melee is more valuable than Amari. Murderous Rider seems good too. What, what do I want to trim? I need to cut five cards here. Um, feel like I probably want to trim at least one of my threes. Mr. Payne, thanks for the three quarters of a year. The CFO of my company is trying to force people into the office, but our CTO convinced them otherwise, so I get to keep watching you while working. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. 
feel like I want to cut one of my two drops. Would I rather cut Dreadhorde Butcher or Mire Triton? On the draw, I feel like I'd probably rather cut Dreadhorde Butcher. Probably going to be playing a little bit more defensively. I was kind of instrumental in winning that game, though. feel like watching Twitch while working is the exact reason they want people back in the office. Lukewarm take. If productivity hasn't been impacted, the company shouldn't care. Fun, fun fact. When I when I worked for a Fortune 50 company as a systems analyst, 100% of my magic deck building and article writing got done while I, got done while I was on the company clock. And I was one of the most productive people on our team, which probably says more about how how unproductive other people are than how productive I was, but you know, why not? We provide VPN and teleworker solutions so our sales and productivities are up as a company. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the middle middle managers are largely the people that are worried about and want people back in the offices. Because with people out of the office, middle managers don't have a purpose in life. I certainly did write an entire D D K campaign in my office. Why would you accuse me of that? Also, while 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 doing all my magic related, while doing all my magic related stuff at work, I uh, I also, but when I got there, I took over one person's job, and then by the end of it, another person had left, and I took over their job as well. So like, in addition to screwing around a bunch, I also like was doing more work than most people. Hey, Archmage, thanks for checking out the Raid Sponsor to complete the tutorial. Drop me a message on uh, Twitch or Twitter and let me know if you'd like to bump up a deck in the queue or have a sub gifted. We are we are going rather wide. Now, notable there, I tried to Ancient Ziggurat, my Murderous Rider. Can't cast Swift End off of Ancient Ziggurat is worth noting, so just playing two things out instead. Yep. Yeah, and I, I believe I believe that there are places and companies that have had productivity go down working from Hode. Cohen thinks for the year and a half. I appreciate that. I also think that that's probably right now probably isn't a good strict measure of work from home efficiency in large part because a lot of anyone who's working from home who has kids right now is likely also at least somewhat wrangling children, speaking from experience. No one is as organized or motivated as you in terms of efficiency doing you prioritize your actual job. Yep. I definitely, definitely got my work done. That was a good turn. Kiln Fiend. Kiln Fiend is a, a really powerful card. Kiln Fiend. Great example of a fantastic HA3 edition. Love it. Your fiance's co-workers are really bad now that they're at home with kids. Yep. Yep. And like, and that's, that's just that's just largely outside of their control, right? Like schools are closed, daycares are closed, etc. I'm gonna trim a couple of these and be a little bit more interactive. I think HA one, whatever historic anthology in general. Hey Jonay, thanks for checking out the raid sponsor. Complete the tutorial. Drop me a message. Let me know if you'd like a gifted sub or a bump something in the queue. And for folks that are completing that, looking for gifted subs, I'm going to send all those out at the end of the stream today. I'm going to keep offering to gift subs to people that aren't subs to check that out up until our 250 point threshold there. We'll still, still a little bit of a ways to go. And, or in our company's case, selling medical imaging software to hospitals while their budgets are tied up with COVID expenses is not a work from home problem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's And it's one of those things where like, there's definitely going to be a lot of, you're going to learn who's able to properly dissect correlation and causation from all of this. Because there's definitely going to be a lot, there's going to be a lot of things that happen during this pandemic where there's correlation, but the causation isn't what it, what it looks like on the surface. Yep. 
I am going to remind folks that I'm gifting subs every time someone completes that thing to encourage others to do it and get a gifted sub. Seems like, seems like a good system. I think there's, think there's usually enough people in here who aren't subbed in a day that we could probably get to that 250 threshold. Ooh, that's a good one. So, I think we just cap this. And then would I rather Reaver or Rider here? I think I'd rather Rider because it's more resource efficient. And then next turn I can go Reaver, Crypt Breaker, and draw a card right away. Because they can't attack anyways. These two, these two together are really a fantastic match. Yeah, yeah, you just have to use the link from the command to install on PC. And obviously, it's only for new accounts slash email addresses. Because it is a promo campaign. It's not looking for repeat folks. And yeah, if you're already a sub and you do that, you can bump a deck in the queue as a thank you. Because I appreciate my subs too. It's weird having a medical system based on profits, having trouble during a pandemic that lowers profits. I guess we'll never figure out the problem there. Yeah, it's definitely not that late stage capitalism is a stain that needs to be adjusted. Wooshta. Thanks for finishing the raid tutorial. I appreciate it. Do I draw a card here? So like they, they only have two cards in their hand. I'd be drawing to 11. So they need, they need to cast four spells to kill me next turn. I think I'm going to draw a card. No gamble, no future chat. Let's just draw a red cat melee. Perhaps. Hey, Pocket Change Games. Thanks for the half a year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Since the hoots tomorrow might be full, would you consider deferring someone's free subs so they get into a future future hoots? Yeah, probably. That doesn't cost me anything extra to delay it. I also, I also don't know exactly when the next hoots is going to be. With Christy being almost eight months pregnant. The best starting champion on raid is the wizard. He'll get you through the most content the fastest. Chump block me, daddy. Chump block me. Brutal. All right, so they get to eat a thing here, but they also don't have any instance or sorceries in hand. So I feel like we're in an okay spot. You didn't bump. What's your... Yeah, I definitely can, Haskell. Will do. Noted. So they're dead, right? I, I'm kind of sad... We didn't get to play against Jeskai again after adding the duresses. So the two sets we played against Jeskai felt really hard when they had their sweepers. But there's there's a good chance that having four duress out of the sideboard helps impact that. Like if we can take their sweeper in some of the games. So the games they didn't have sweepers, we were able to run them down. So I, I feel like there might be some potential here. I feel like the core game plan of what I had felt very reasonable and potentially worth exploring some more. Slow Imp, thanks for the 24 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thoughts on things that could maybe look different in this deck. One axis, and then this could also help the control matchup potentially too, that I think is worth exploring, is I think there could be a merit to testing a build that looks, that does something, something like this. Exactly what else I want to cut. Maybe it's this. Figure, figure out another cut and like play supplier instead of the tapped one drop. Because with supplier and Meyer Triton, you could probably fuel Kroxa pretty consistently. Which could give you an access to grind on. 
So I, def I definitely think the core game plan here of beating people down with zombies and having Baron, Judith, and Gem Palm as ways to push extra damage at the top end of your curve works very well. I think I would explore, if you wanted to explore more configurations of this, I would explore Stitcher, Supplier, plus Croxa. This could end up being worse, but I do think if you wanted to cover all your bases and try everything, this could be this could be reasonable. Mm, yeah, that's a good that's a good thought too. There's uh, Lily Liliana Untouched by Death is a card that's okay against control. It drains them out, gives you a little bit more reach, and can recast things from the bin. This is notable, not as good with Ancient Cigarette though, right? So like, if you're playing this card, you're realistically playing her in an 18 land deck. She does also fuel Croc, so that's two. And you'd have to you'd have to give up you'd have to give up Collector as well. Yeah, yeah. So there's if there's there's maybe there's maybe a build, and this is this is tough too, because like, you know, calls the dead. This this card, one of the reasons why I think it was such a good addition to this format, is because it comes with a real cost, right? Like this card means considerations like Liliana and like Calls the Dead, they're not just free rolls, right? You actually have to pause and think, okay, is this worth adding in because of my mana base? There, there's some pause there. So like I said, like most things in this format, there's a lot of exploration to do still. I think this was a fantastic addition to this format in general. Really love it. But we're going to go ahead and move on because we always like to try and get a lot of a lot of variety in the streams each day. Up next, I'm going to hit a quick ad roll. But when we get back, after I flip everything over and restart my client, we are going to play all the way down here. We're going to play some copies of Maze's End here. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Thanks for hanging out today, folks. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 